I just finished the best book ever. I finished rereading it because it was the best book ever. So hi guys, I'm here with a book review and can we just, we need to just take a minute. We just need to take all this in. <sighs> yes, Every Day by David Lovathan. Fantastic. Five out of five stars and I'm going to tell you why. So before we get on to that, for the first time in my reading life, I put sticky notes in my book. Yep. And I want to read some of them to you. But first I'm going to tell you, should probably tell you what this book is about and then I'll get into my thoughts and stuff because maybe I should start doing the synopsis first. This is about a person. We can't call him a guy or a girl and I will tell you why. He, it, it, they, they have called themselves A and basically every day they wake up in somebody else's body. So it's almost like they're just like a spirit that inhabits other people's bodies but they have emotions and stuff of their own. I'm gonna call them they, yeah. Um, so one day they are in a body of a boy named Justin and Justin has a girlfriend named Rhiannon, I think, and he spends the afternoon with her and he grows, I'm going to call him he because it's so much easier, oh my goodness, and he develops like an attachment to her and from then on when he wakes up in somebody else's body he always tries to meet up with her and keep that connection going with her because he like falls in love with her and it's so cute and he tries so hard and but he still has to deal with like the person's lives because whoever's body he's inhabiting their life still goes on like they don't know anything's different so there's like a conflict going on in here there's the romance going on in here it's very <sighs> I cried I did cry and it was so so good um it was just perfect that's like all I can say about it so I will read you like I was on Goodreads trying to read my review and I was like of speechless. So I will read you. There's only a couple. So I'll just. So hopefully, reading some of these will make you guys want to read the book because this is the best way I can explain the book. So, nothing what I'm reading in here is spoiler either. I wake up. Immediately, I have to figure out who I am. It's not just the body opening my eyes and discovering whether the skin on my arm is light or dark, whether my hair is long or short, whether I'm fat or thin, boy or girl, scarred or smooth. The body is the easiest thing to adjust to. If you're used to waking up in a new one each morning, it's the life, the context of the body that can be hard to grasp. Every day, I'm someone else. I am myself. I know I am myself, but I am also someone else. It has always been like this. So that's the first one, and that's not spoiler because that's on the back of the book, but I was like, ah. Oh. That was like the first part of the book, and that's what really grabbed me. So the next part is like halfway through, and this is talking about like mental illnesses and stuff. So... Some people think mental illness is a matter of mood, a matter of personality. They think depression is simply a form of being sad, that OCD is a form of being uptight. They think the soul is sick, not the body. It is, they believe, something you have no choice over. And there's another one about, like, mental illness. Um, depression has been likened to both a black cloud and a black dog. For someone like Kelsey, the black cloud is right is the right metaphor. She's surrounded by it, immersed within it, and there's no obvious way out. What she needs to do is try to contain it, get into, get it into the form of the black dog. It will still follow her around wherever she goes, but it will always be there. But at least it will be separate and will follow her lead. Here's the next one. I hope you guys are enjoying this. Just reading it again, I'm like, oh. So, then we get to the part where he's trying to, like... He's like in a mental arguing with himself, like, what am I doing? So, I am not the devil. This is the thought, this thought is what echoes through my mind the rest of the day. I am not the devil, but I could be. So that's, yeah. And then I think there's one more, yeah. Last one. This one's the cutest one, and I was like, ugh. So... How do you know it was me, I have to ask. The way you looked at me, she says. It couldn't have been anyone else. And then this is like his thought, because that's the conversation. Then it goes to his thought. This is what love does. It makes you want to rewrite the world. 
It makes you want to choose the characters, build the scenery, guide the plot. The person you love sits across from you, and you want to do everything in your power to make it possible, endlessly possible. And when it's just the two of you, alone in your room, you can alone in a room, not bedroom, um, you can pretend that this is how it is. This is how it will be. <sighs> this book, guys, like, I don't even know what else to say about it. There's no bad thing. The only bad thing I can say is that it ended. I was so sad it ended. I was like, no, and it's a standalone, so it's... <sighs> It was just fantastic. I had this book for a little bit. I was really excited to get it. But I had put it off for a while until my friend Liam, YA Dystopian Reads, go subscribe to him. He was like, you need to read this book. So I was on chat with him and I had the book beside me and I picked it up and I started reading it right there. And then I finished it and then I reread it. So it's reread and it's fantastic. And I'll probably be reading it again soon because it is just so good. It's like one of those books that makes you reflect and feel like you can connect even though the main character is like not like a real person so people would be like oh I can't connect but it's the emotions and everything you say you're just like wow. I don't know what else to say so I'm just going to ramble about how perfect this is. So everybody go check this book out. It's such a good book. You will not regret it. And it's a nice fast read and it's just... It's a favorites. I'm doing a favorites video soon about my favorite books. This is on it. So yeah, go check that out. And thank you for watching my review. And I hope my review persuaded you to go read the book. And if it did, let me know. If you have read it, let me know what your thoughts are down below. Because I like reading all your nice comments and replying to the comments. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in a few days. Bye!